Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com. And usually I say I'm very happy to show you something. Uh, today I'm not so happy to show it to you because what it means is that we have a storm coming. Uh, right now we have Hurricane Florence barreling towards us in North Carolina um, due to hit probably in the next 48 hours. So it's Wednesday, September 12th, and this gives me the opportunity to show you kind of like a dirty little secret in national e-commerce. Uh, specifically Amazon and Amazon Prime. I'm going to use them as an example because they make it so obvious what's going on here and they make it very easy to see what uh, enables that, um, that thing to happen. So right now I'm in Huntersville, North Carolina. We have a hurricane coming. But I want to show you that if I was anywhere else in the country that wasn't about to get hit by a storm, I would go to Amazon here I've told Amazon in an incognito window that I'm in Orange, California. And I'm just going to do a search for LED flashlight. Probably a pretty common thing to look for when you have a storm coming. Now, pretty typically in Amazon Prime now, you will get used to getting something in two days, or sometimes the same day, or one day, or whatever. Three days. You know, We're getting so impatient as a society when it comes to e-commerce. But in Orange, California, if I wanted to buy this flashlight, I could push the button now and get it on my porch today. And I've done that before with Amazon Prime. Place an order and receive it the same day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Wednesday the 19th. So that's kind of further away. Tomorrow. So anyway, you get my point. If I'm in Orange, California, Amazon Prime is going to get to me today or tomorrow. Now, let's take a peek at what happens if I'm in Huntersville, North Carolina, and I do the same search. Well, we know that it would be really hard to get me something tomorrow or Friday or Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday because we have a hurricane coming and probably everything is going to come grinding to a screeching halt. And, and these e-commerce vendors knew that and set up what's called a regional shipping template, a policy in their Amazon account that makes it so that if I search in, an, in a zip code that's about to get hit by this hurricane, I'm not going to get it today or tomorrow. This company is promising I'll get it on Wednesday, September 19th. Mm, that's awfully brave of them. That looks more realistic. Friday the 21st, right? The 21st. That looks really realistic that sometime between the 24th and the 25th I'll get it, right? So now that I've shown you that regionally an e-commerce store can change pricing, shipping uh, commitments, things like that, we can change those things depending on where you are. Now I want to show you not how to do it, but how to figure out how to do it. Because if you're an e-commerce store and you don't have a full-time professional on your team, you've got to figure this out on your own. So let's go ahead, I'm going to take you into the Seller University, your Amazon Seller uh, University account, where you will have access to this, where I want you to go up here, I want you to type in the word regional. When you type in the word regional in the search, I can't think of any a better way to get there because there's just so much to look at, but right here you can see how to set up regional seller fulfilled prime. And first you start with a trial, but then it'll hear this video here. This video here, I'm sorry, will show you how to set up regional seller fulfilled prime. You watch this video, it's very vague, but then when you have more micro level questions, you can check out the forums and you can check out the um, case logs and you can contact Amazon if you have more questions. Or I really, I highly recommend for an integration as complicated as this that you have a professional on your team on retainer or someone you can call. But I think it's very interesting. Um, these little nuances of e-commerce are what make them so interesting to me at least. They, they kind of captivate my attention. I really think this is cool stuff that, that I know a storm's coming. You're not going to get it in time. Let's automate that. Let's draw a circle around the storm and let's make sure that we don't have a flurry of customer service issues when the storm's over. Because we're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do as it is. Alright you guys, thanks for coming back though. Uh, again, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel, I highly appreciate it. And you can find me on Facebook, um, Matt Panapinto or MyWebBro, LinkedIn. Um, and uh, I hope to come back soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Be safe out there. Uh, be prepared and be safe. Have a great day. Bye.